Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to add and remove programs from the startup list in Windows 10, 8 and 7. In other words, how to make a certain program run automatically when you start the computer. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. During the installation, most utilities add themselves to the startup list without asking for the user's permission. On the other hand, uh, there are apps which don't go to the startup automatically or don't even have the auto run function at all. Regardless of the program type, sometimes it can be difficult to search the program settings for the option that enables or disables its startup function. That is why the more convenient way of tackling this problem is to use the startup feature integrated into the operating system. All of us know that a new computer usually responds to all user actions instantly, but sometime later it becomes slower and seems more sluggish. Having lots of stuff on the startup list has a negative impact on the booting speed and overall performance of the operating system. Whether a certain program has to be included into the startup list depends largely on your particular needs. And in today's video, we will examine in detail how to add or remove a program from the startup list both with integrated tools and additional utilities. So, let's begin. How to remove a program from startup list in Task Manager? We'll start with the easiest method by using the Task Manager. To open it, press the key shortcut Ctrl Shift Escape or just right click on the Start button and select Task Manager from the list. If your Task Manager doesn't show the Startup tab, open the Run window and type the command msconfig. You can see it also contains the Startup tab. This tab shows you the programs that start together with the operating system. Search this list for the program you'd like to remove from the startup. Right-click on it and select Disable. When the operating system starts next time, this program will not be launched automatically. How to remove programs from startup with CCleaner The second method to remove a program from the startup list involves third-party utilities. As long as I have CCleaner installed on my computer, I'll be using it for illustration. This free tool doesn't only clean junk files from computers, but also removes unneeded items from the Windows startup list. Open the Tools menu and click on the Startup tab. The Windows tab will show you the programs that start automatically with the operating system. If you have removed any programs from the startup list before, they will be shown in semi-transparent text while the ones enabled for startup will be given in clear letters. It shows you data on the apps in the startup queue – status, register key name, program name, publisher and the program's location on the hard disk. To see more info on a program, select it, right-click on it and choose one of the options from the menu. Disable, delete, save to text file, open in InReg edit, and open containing folder. To disable or remove a program from Windows Startup, select it in the list of programs. To disable, click on Disable and use the Delete button to remove it from the startup list. How to remove a program from the startup list with Task Scheduler Another method to remove a program from the startup list involves Task Scheduler. Task Scheduler actually runs all planned operations, so we can also see apps on the startup list here. To open the scheduler, type Task Scheduler in the search line. In the Task Scheduler Local section, open Task Scheduler Library. Select the automatically started program and choose Disable or Delete from the context menu. Remove a program from the startup list in Registry Editor. One more method, which is good for power users. Uh, if you know how to work with the Registry Editor, you can use it to remove programs starting with the operating system. 
Open the Run window by pressing Windows plus R key shortcut and type Regedit. In Windows 10, you can also use the Search option. In the Register Editor window, follow this path. For the current user, and this path for all users. Select the required item and just remove it from the registry. How to add a program to the startup list with the registry editor? Now, let's find out how to add a program to the startup list. You can do it in several ways. As long as the registry editor is open, let's focus on the method where you need it. Follow this path for the current user. Or this path for all users. Right-click on a free area in the registry editor window. Select New – String Value. Specify the name of the program. Then right-click on the value and select Modify from the context menu. In the window Edit String, find the field entitled Value Data and enter the full path to the executable file of the program and then click OK. That's all. Now this program has been added to the startup list. As for me, this method is way too difficult, so let's see if there are any simpler options. How to add a program to the startup list with the task scheduler. For example, you can use the task scheduler for the same purpose. Use the search function to find and start it. Then click on Task Scheduler – Local and in the section Actions select Create Basic Task. Specify the program's name and click Next. In the next window select When the computer starts and click Next. In the action line, choose Start a program and click Next. In the next window, you will see the field Program script, so type the full path to the executable file of the program and then click Next. In the Finish window, take the last step and click Finish. That's all. When the computer starts next time, this program will run automatically. Earlier in this video, you could see how to disable or remove a task from the task scheduler. How to add a program to the startup list manually Finally, the easiest way to add a program to the startup list is by putting its shortcut to the startup folder. To do it, follow this path. Just copy the program's shortcut from the desktop to this folder. You can also find this folder by following the path, which is shown on the screen. Also, there are special utilities to help you with adding apps to start up. One of them is Autorun Organizer. It can help you reduce the negative impact from simultaneous automatic start of several programs. With the delayed launch function, Autorun Organizer will offer you to postpone the start in time for certain apps so that they start with a time interval between them. This way, the programs that you want to start automatically will not affect the speed of Windows booting because they will run sometime after the operating system starts. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful for you. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss a new video. Leave comments to ask questions and share your opinion. Thank you for watching. And good luck!